Hi everyone, Phil from statisticsmentor.com. I was asked the other day a question similar to this. Consider a continuous random variable x which has the PDF here. And we want the PDF of a transformation of that random variable x, in this case x squared. How do we get it? Would we substitute x for x squared y into here? In other words, would the PDF for y be equal to 3 and x squared is equal to y? So we put y. Would it be that? The answer is no, but nearly. What you have to do is multiply this thing by the derivative of dx by dy but the absolute value. So we want to take the absolute value of this thing. Okay, now, in this case, if we rearrange this thing, x would be equal to square root of y, y, y to the power of half, therefore dx by dy is equal to a half y to minus a half and then we multiply this thing into there like so 3y multiply it by the derivative of dx by dy the absolute value and there you go this is still not a complete answer because since it's the pdf of y we need to know for what values of y is it possible? We get the range of values of y by looking at x. x can take the value between 0 and 1. Well, if x can take the value between 0 and 1, it means that y, which depends on x squared, takes the value between the lowest value would be, will be bigger than 0 squared, which is 0, and less than 1 squared. In other words, y will be between 0 and 1 for this to hold and zero elsewhere like for x. Now this theory underlying what I've just done there and it's called change of variables method. When does it work? Well for this case the version I've used of it is I've used is that let's just write it down. So the change of variables technique this version for x continuous version is as follows. x is continuous random variable. The transformation, which is called y, uh, it's a transformation of x, function u, and its inverse, inverse of this thing, are one-to-one -one functions, bijections in other words, and they are continuous on, on the interval of the transformed x then the PDF of your transformed variable is this horrible expression. And the way to understand this horrible expression is to just uh, look back at our example. So all this says is that the PDF of y, take the PDF of x and substitute y c x in terms of expression for y times by the absolute value of the derivative of this x, uh, of x respect to y. Okay, example, let's consider this PDF function, a random variable of t. It's clearly it's continuous. I want to find the PDF of x if x is equal to beta times t, where beta is bigger than zero. First of all, observe that x, since t takes a value between zero and infinity, if we put it into here, that means x takes a value between zero and infinity, and this function is continuous over that interval. Okay, so we're rearranging this thing, x over beta is t, and then we find a derivative, dt by dx, and then what we do now is, as before, where we see t, we substitute it in terms of x, like this, and then not forgetting we multiply that whole thing by the absolute value of this thing, which is 1 over beta, which is positive, so we're fine. And done. So let's write that down. And this is it. Substituting in the values. 
if you didn't multiply by 1 over beta, you would get here alpha to the power, beta to the power of alpha minus 1, and then you'd be scratching your head.